Hey everyone, this is Paul here with Member Press, and in today's video, I thought I would show uh, how you can hide certain menu items here in the dashboard uh, from, uh, <clears throat> like, say you want to create special administrator accounts that maybe can have access to a few of the items here in Member Press, but maybe you don't want them to see like your activate page or your options, uh, those kinds of things. So. Uh, I've been playing around with this for a minute this morning, and I found a couple plugins we can use to accomplish this. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is install um, User Role Editor. Okay, so I'm going to install this one first. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to create a copy of our administrator role, and then we're going to make just a couple little tweaks to it. And then the other users that we want to have access here in the dashboard, um, we're going to assign them to this new role and uh, control a little bit what they can see based on that. So uh, what we want to do is go to Settings and User Role Editor. And we want to check this Show Administrator Role in the User Role Editor. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go to Users and user role editor here and we're gonna say add a role and I'm just gonna call this role limited admin no spaces or anything that's just the ID and then the name the display name of it will type a little bit nicer limited admin okay and we're gonna make a copy of the administrator role so we'll go ahead and click add role and give it just a minute to refresh the page and you'll see it makes a clone of our um, administrative role. So the next thing we want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and re remove the, where did it go here? I'm going to uncheck this manage options setting here. And you can probably pick a different one um, to use, but I found this one seems to work best for this. So I'm going to uncheck Manage Options. I'm going to Update. Say Yes. OK. And then uh, that's all we need to do in the User Role Editor. So the next thing we want to do is go and add a new user. Now, you may already have a user that you want to edit. So you can just edit that existing user. But I don't have one yet, so I'm going to create a new user and I'm going to call this limited we'll just call the username limited limited at email.com limited admin user and I'll just set a simple password so I can uh, remember it and we're going to choose the new limited admin role that we created in the user role editor and we're going to click add new user Okay, now I want to log in as this um, limited admin user. So uh, I've, I have the switch to plugin that lets me log in as any user. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to that user. And now you can see it took me to the front end. I'm logged in as this limited admin. So if I go back to the dashboard, I should be able to see pretty much everything except the WordPress settings because I removed that manage options role. And if you have other plugins that rely on that manage options role, uh, they may be hidden or disappear from here as well. Um, so anyways, um, I'm logged in as this limited admin, but next we want to make sure we hide some of these other things from this limited admin role. And so I'm going to go ahead and just switch back to the other admin user I had. And the next thing we're going to do is install another plugin called admin menu editor I believe hopefully I typed that right yeah this one here admin menu editor by uh, Janice Elst I guess uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install this and I'm gonna go ahead and activate that Okay, now that is activated. 
we're going to go to its settings. So it's right down here under settings, menu editor. And I want to make sure that, um, I'm going to go to the settings here really quick. I'm going to make sure that only me, so I'm the currently logged in admin. My username is demo, but uh, I want to make sure that only I can edit this plugin. So I'm going to set that to only me. Um, and I think you can leave the rest of this pretty much at the defaults. And I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, it's been saved. And now we're going to go to admin menu. Okay, and then now what we do is we just come in here and we pretty much can hide anything we want. So um, let's go, let's say we only want um, these people to see, these limited admins to see only this home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my SendGrid one and I'm going to type in manage options into this extra capability box. And I'm just going to put that, copy it and paste it on anything I want hidden. So now if I save my changes here, Okay, so we'll see as an admin, I can see updates and I can also see SendGrid. Now, if I switch to, let me go back to um, log in as that limited user. So I'm gonna switch to him. Now, if I come into the dashboard, you can see I cannot see the SendGrid or um, the updates links now in this dashboard. So let's keep going and see what else we can remove. So I am going to actually want to remove, in this case, I'm gonna remove everything. I only want him to see uh, my members list here in member press and let's say the coupons too. So he can see the members list, he can see coupons and he can see reports. So I wanna enable only three things for these limited admin users. So I'm gonna go back to the menu editor and I will leave this dashboard home enabled just so he can have a place to land when he goes to the dashboard uh, without getting an error. But I do wanna hide posts, so I need to paste this here in the main one. And then you also, unfortunately, have to do it on every sub menu as well or else it will not hide it. So that's one little glitch with this plugin that I don't like, but it seems to work the best with everything else. So you have, if you want to hide a whole parent menu, like this posts menu, you have to do it on the parent menu item and then also on each sub menu of that um, item. So uh, I want to hide media. So I'm going to hide that. And then I need to do it on these sub ones as well. I'm going to hide pages, so I'll do that here, and I'll do it on these sub items as well. And I am going to want to hide comments, and this one, I guess it, where it only has one, I don't think you have to do this, but I'm going to put it here just in case. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want the user editing our themes, so let's go ahead and hide all this theme stuff. And you can see it's a little bit tedious to do this. Um, there is another plugin, Adminize, that, or let's see, Admi Adminimize, I think is what it's called. Um, but it didn't seem to work as well with MemberPress. So this is one I found that does seem to work pretty well with MemberPress. Uh, I want to hide the plugins page. I don't know why it says plugins two there, but. Yeah, you see it says plugins too. I'm not sure why it says that there, but uh, oh, you can also drag and drop and reorganize things in here as well, um, which I guess I just did. Put that back to where it was, okay. And I definitely don't want them editing any users, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Tools, we can get rid of that. And there's quite a few things under here.
yeah, I wish there was a little bit easier way to do this in this plugin. And maybe there is, and I just don't know about it. But um, And then settings it actually shouldn't have access to this anyways because we've removed that manage options um, capability from our limited admin role. But we're going to go ahead and just quickly add it to all these just to make sure in case we do change that in the future. Okay. And then, yeah, I don't want them having access to my member press downloads. Add on. And I also want to hide this WP Sandbox link, which doesn't have any submenus, so we don't need to worry about those. Okay, so now we're at member press. And actually, I don't want to hide the main menu. But I do want to hide the activate page. I want to hide the import. I want to hide our developer tools. I want to hide the help page. I want to hide the options. I want them to see reports, so I'm going to leave that one open. I'm going to hide transactions. I'm going to hide subscriptions. I'm going to leave members and coupons open. I'm going to hide rules. I'm going to hide reminders. I'm going to hide groups and I'm going to hide memberships. And I'm going to go ahead and save. And hopefully if I didn't miss anything, we can go back to that limited role and we'll click switch to. Now, if you don't have switch to here, you need to install this plugin here. It just makes it easier to test. It's called user switching. Um, and it's by John Blackburn and it, it helps you login as any user super quick. I mean, literally you just click this little switch to button right here. And there you go. You're logged in. So now I'm switched to, I'm in the admin and you can see I have access to this main dashboard page and I have access to these three items now and that's it. And uh, so, yeah, this is a really cool way to kind of lock down who can see what. Um, and this applies to any plugins, not just member press. You can use this for anything, um, really. So, uh, but yeah, this is a little tedious, but it's probably the best way I've found. I mean, you know, it took, what, less than 10 minutes to do all this. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to our support team. Um, we didn't write any of the plugins that I used here. I mean, other than member press, obviously. Um, to do this. So if you run into bugs or issues, you'll probably need to contact the developers of these plugins to get those resolved. But um, yeah, for me, it seems to be working pretty well. I can lock down just about anything here in the dashboard and uh, it seems to work well.